Hey guys, I'm Papa Pete, and I'm back today with a very special pickup video. Here with Coco again, and uh, what's our motto, huh? What's our motto there? Don't purr too loud. Don't purr too loud, we'll be able to hear the mic. That a girl. Kindness matters right there. But this is a really special pickup video because today, I have finally got some of the parcels and packages that have been over at my sister's house in the U.S. Uh, really since last February. Of course, the way things are in the world right now, I can't get over to get them, but I did uh, find a way to get them brought in. I had to hire somebody to bring them in. And uh, so I got everything picked up now, and I'm not getting anything more sent to my sister's house to sit around her place for the next little while. But I got quite a pile of stuff to show you today. Here they are. You know, we'll start, we'll start small. And uh, oh, that one's half open. A couple letters here. Oh, there's a big one. Still more. There's one. And another one. And last but not least, one more. Well, I have some things to open. Stick around. I can't wait to get to it. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. Having grown up by the age of 50, you don't have to. After today's video, don't forget to check out IntellivisionCollector.com for all of your Intellivision needs. Luke's just added several homebrew titles to his inventory from some of the top homebrew developers in the Intellivision scene. That's IntellivisionCollector.com. Alright guys, before we start, I got a great beer to celebrate. I have Haze from Big Spruce Brewing. And it stands for Hotel Alpha Zulu Echo Haze New England Pale Ale 5.8% alcohol. Organic. What a beautiful can. Oh, I love this label too. Check out the color. Looks pretty unfiltered like a lot of the microbreweries. Oh, look at that. I can hardly see through that one. Oh, that's got some snap right there, let me tell you. Ooh, strong. But you gotta love it. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the parcels. Okay, this next one here is kind of interesting as well. It's been over at my sister's place since about April. Uh... Back a few years ago, I was into autograph collecting, and I was getting things together. I'd print out 8x10s. I'd send them away. I did a lot of, uh, of my favorite stars, television stars, sports stars, mostly stuff from when I was a kid. But some of the racing I liked, uh, I follow now. I would send those out to some race car drivers and such. And uh, they were pretty neat. Anyway, here's one that I sent. I think I sent it in 2014, and it came back August or, oh, sorry, April 2020. And that is Clint Boyer. So I sent these six years ago. And as you can see, I sent him a, a picture. I sent him four pictures. One that was already signed by Michael Waltrip. Uh, he hasn't been on that racing team. Hasn't even existed in years. And this looks a little weird. What is going on here? Okay. There's the pictures. He didn't even take the pictures out of the envelope. He just signed the envelope. Oh my God. You know what the worst part about it is? is I've actually had that happen one other time before. That's why I wrote, started writing this up on the end so people would actually take the pictures out before they'd sign them and not just sign on the envelope. So that is hilarious. Here this is. I waited six years for it and all I did was sign the piece of plastic that was wrapped around the pictures. Too friggin' funny. And stuff like that you just can't make up. That's hilarious. Oh, brother. Uh, you know what? If it was anybody but Clint Boyer, it would be like, oh my god. But with Clint Boyer, yeah, you just kind of expect it. He's just that much of a clown. I wouldn't even say that it wouldn't put it past him to do that on purpose. Anyway, six years, I got a signed piece of plastic. Alright, so I've got about six or eight more 
packages here to open. So I'm going to take a couple minutes right now. I'm going to open them all up. And in the meantime, just like always, I'm going to put a little bit of RGC on. I don't know what song I'm going to play. I'm just going to start playing some. Here we go. Ryan, fire that shit up. This is something I ordered way back last February, and here I finally have it now. And you might say, hey, you must already have that game. Well, I didn't. I I swore I did. I know I do somewhere, but believe it or not, I couldn't find it. And about the time I did this in my version of the 125, so I sent away and got myself another pretty darn good condition copy of plain old Major League Baseball. Honestly. February. That's been over there since February 14th, and it's now November. So there it is. Eight months later, ten months later. Anyway, great game, classic. I have it somewhere, and I have no idea where it went. Next up, another one. This has been around for a while. This one actually I got after uh, eBay wrote me and gave me some. I got like $25 credit as a. 10 year anniversary or 20 year anniversary with eBay or whatever like that so I couldn't let that go so even though I couldn't get anything shipped across easily oh look at that they even put it in a protective case this is nice and it is again it's another one of these television games which I always thought I had but I haven't been able to find I got a copy of Popeye great classic arcade game the I still swear I remember playing the uh, the television version. I have the ClickaVision version. I have the Atari version, and now I finally have the Intellivision version here in my collection. And although I thought I did, just like baseball, I thought I had it here somewhere. But uh, this one is really nice, and it was basically free. I paid 99 cents plus shipping on it with the with the bonus gift that I got from eBay. So next up is something that I got when I saw RGT had. It. On, he posted, a, it was a, on Twitter, it said, this is an incredibly great price for it. It won't last very long at this price. Normally it's 100 bucks on for $30. That was way back in the spring. So what I got was the Neo Geo Mini. Really cool. I've been waiting a long time to try this out right here with uh, how many? 40 Neo Geo Masterpieces. I didn't play Neo Geo a whole lot when I was a kid. I really have only played some of the games real casually since on different emulators and such. So I'm really happy to get this and give it a shot. I like the fact that you can play it uh, alone. It doesn't have to be hooked up to the television, but it can be. So I love these mini systems. So when I saw that tweet from him saying, you know, it's it's like super really marked down for now. It might only be a day. I jumped right on it and grabbed it. So really happy to have that in my collection now. now here's one that I got fairly recently. It was just I couldn't resist adding it to my Sears collection. And it is Frog Bog. So, Sears Frog Bog. Some of them are harder to get. This is one of the ones that's sort of harder to get. It's not one of the Crown Jewels, which are backgammon and checkers. Uh, and roulettes just below that. But uh, below those three are Frog Bog, Snafu, and some other hard ones. And I've got most of the other more difficult ones now. Whoop. Here's the overlay. I should open it up carefully here. I got both overlays, the carts in there, and the Sears instruction manual. So I'm really happy with that to finally add it into my Sears collection. Beautiful. Frog bug. Here's a package that I ordered from somebody on Facebook back in April. So it's been over there a long time too. After I got it, I finally I wrote back to the guy and said, hey, I finally got the parcel. Looks great. Or I really hadn't opened it until right now, but just so happy to get it. And he sent me a whole bunch of Intellivision games. Well, he really wrapped them well. First one he said, I threw, he threw this one in because it was so crushed. And it's a copy of Zaxxon, which I already had. But would you want to throw it in because uh, it's got the manual in there. Cart looks fine. And like I say, the box is very crushed. But uh, always nice to have an extra, extra copy of a game. 
because that's not an easy one to find. I might be able to trade it for something else that I really need for my uh, for my collection. So Zaxxon. Next up, another one, same thing. The price was really good. I had this one already in my collection, but it's one of these ones that's right there with Frog Bog and, uh, and Snafu, maybe just a step below those again for difficulty in getting. And that is a copy of Horse Racing, Sears Super Video Arcade, Video Arcade Horse Racing. Really happy to have that one. I don't know if the overlays are with this, but the overlays are just the regular Sears over or regular uh, Battelle overlays anyway. I'm sure I could pick up a set of overlays. Got some writing on the, the manual as well. But anyway, the manual is the Sears one, and the box, of course, Sears one. Same as Axon. I should be able to trade that for something else. And this one I knew had some writing on it, but it's one that I didn't have for my collection. And whoever wrote the price on it wrote it right on the freaking cover of it, $5.99. So anyway, but I have uh, finally Sears Super Video Arcade Boxing. Really happy to have that. I could live with that. I can upgrade if necessary if the opportunity arises. Uh, but some people, some places sell these for stupid amounts of money um, on eBay. And then other people sell them for more realistic amounts on Facebook and eBay. And this was the case with this one. So I was really happy to pick this one up. Uh, Donnie Butler. Thank you very much, Donnie, for... Uh, for sending these to me and uh, working out the deal. <laughs> Just so strange, eh? Like seven months later, I finally get to see the game. So really happy to have that one as well because I just love the Sears Super Video Arcade boxes. Now here's one of the ones that I really was looking for for my collection. I don't think, it doesn't complete my collection for Coleco games for the Intellivision, but uh, I think I still need, is it Turbo? Turbo. But a little bit crushed, not too awfully bad. It's a copy of Donkey Kong Jr. Flip her up, take a look. I see cartridge. And the manual's in there as well. So, I mean, there are no overlays for these games. That's great. Donkey Kong Jr. A little bit of stuff, a little bit of uh, sticker residue on the label or on the box. Um, but still, overall, very happy to finally have that. For I got it for a great price. Really happy with it. Last but not least, a game that I'd looked for for a long time. I've never found it for, well, I could get it for a really kind of unreasonable price, but I finally got it for a reasonable price. And that is, as Mark Kennedy put it toward to me, the creator of the game, award-winning Kool-Aid Man for the Intellivision. So really happy to finally add this to my collection. Just don't see it around. There's the... Uh, Manuals in there, the game, I'll check it all out, take a picture of it, see if the overlays are in there or not. I might have to pick up some overlays, that's not a big deal. I'm just happy to add that as one of the 125 in my collection. I believe uh, these few here will put me up over the 100 mark. Um, I don't know, it's just keep treading away is all I can do. Very happy to have gotten that one. All right, last but not least, here are a couple more games that I just got recently when I decided I was finally going to do something, get my get my parcels over, and I was looking on eBay, and these are games that I've been looking for for my Xbox collection. They're pretty hot, actually, and the first one I picked up is, slide that right there, Judge Dread, Dread vs. Death, which is a really rather difficult game to get. The case is in beautiful condition. The uh, manual, beautiful condition, and I'm going to look at the disc really closely here. It looks pretty good. There's no obvious scratches on here, but what he told me was that you boot it up, it doesn't get past the first chapter or first or title screen or whatever. Uh, he didn't have any other way to test it further than that. I do have a disc cleaning machine. I'm going to try it, and I got it for one dollar. So how do you beat that? That's like a $30 game and I got it for a buck because I bought it along with something else. A game that I was really happy to pick up. It was on my short list of the games for the, for the Xbox that I really, really wanted, really needed. And it's one of the games that's been just climbing like crazy. I remember it was in the 20s, 30s, and now 40s, 50s, and it's up into the 90s now. And I got a really good deal on the game Obscure. These horror adventure games are just going through the roof. And for whatever reason, this one seems to be the hottest of the bunch. It's basically quadrupled in price the last six, eight months. So I got a really good deal. It works just fine, he said. Manual. This looks good. Case is in beautiful condition. 
And like I said, I want to get the top games as best I can for the Xbox before they go up too much. So far, it's worked out really well. I've gotten a few games for $30, $40 that are now $150. And this one I didn't jump on quite quickly enough. It's gone up really high. But overall, uh, I'm just really, really happy to finally get it now because I really think it's going to keep going up. Obscure for the Xbox. Great addition to the collection. Well, guys, that's it for all my pickups uh, that I made over the summer that I had shipped to my address in the States that I've just been able to pick up this last week. I don't know. Hopefully things get back to normal sometime soon. We get through this pandemic thing and I can get back to everyday life because, frankly, it's like I said, uh, it's less than a mile away. My family lives over there, my sister, and I'm used to spending a lot of time over there as a kid and uh, going over there two or three times a week as a normal part of my daily routine and it's really been disrupted the last few months with covid and so many problems with it in the states and and uh, and borders being closed but you know i guess we'll just have to work our way through it do what we can do and and uh and beat out uh, beat this virus anyway guys xbox editions fantastic in television editions look at all the games from my television collection neo geo mini as well as uh an autographed piece of plastic from Clint Boyer. I don't know. I still can't get over that one. Anyway, guys, thanks for spending a little bit of time with me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take Papa care. Papa Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. If you have been hey, guys, this is Brian from the Brian's Jane Cave. You're watching have Papa to. Pete, the old ass gamer. What the hell?